Hello and welcome back. I am Ryan Gray with Medical School HQ.net. Today we have a review of USMLE Weapon, a question bank for Step 1 and Step 2 CK. I'm obviously talking about the USMLE Step 1 and Step 2, which is a big hurdle during medical school. Step 1 is taken at the end of the second year and is one of the main determining factors in your residency application. Similar to the MCAT, the key to taking the USMLE Step 1 is lots of practice. How do you get that practice? By taking lots of test questions. And those test questions are wrapped up in what are known as question banks. There are several question banks available to the medical student. Today, we're going to be focusing on USMLE Weapon. According to the USMLE Weapon website, all the questions are written by a group of medical students who received high USMLE scores, and each question is carefully reviewed by an MD. USMLE Weapon is part of the Test Weapon family, which includes several question banks for different, med for different medical specialties. It has the USMLE Weapon for allopathic medical students, ComBank for osteopathic medical students, it also has the anesthesia prep for anesthesiology residents, and yet to be released has the surgery board weapon and emergency medicine question banks. Test Weapon is a private company out of Pittsburgh. I have not been compensated in exchange for this review, so rest assured it is fair and unbiased. This is the homepage for USMLE Weapon. As you can see, they have a link for Step 1 and Step 2 CK. At this time, I'm not sure what their plans are for having a Step 3 question bank. I'm not going to spend too much time here. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And this is what you see when you first log into their website. As you can see, I haven't taken any uh, test questions yet because I wanted to give you the experience of first logging in and creating a test and, and going over all that fresh. So from this home page, there are three different options to choose from. You can go into My Tests, which obviously I haven't created any tests yet, so there's nothing here. I can create a test, and I can view my performance. And again, obviously my performance is going to be empty because I haven't taken any tests yet. So let's go ahead and create a test. When I create a test, I'm going to tell USMLE Weapon how many questions I want to take. I wish this was a drop down because what if I felt fresh and wanted to spend 10, uh, spell 10 rather, uh, so I get a little error here. So I wish there was some kind of drop down here instead of having to manually type in the number. So I'm going to go ahead and do 10 questions here. Sim similar to other question banks, you can have a time test, an untimed un test, and a tutor mode. And the type of questions. So I can have new questions, used questions. Uh, I can build a test of only the questions that I've missed in the past. So hopefully I've learned from my mistakes and will get them right the second time. Or I can do um, all, new and, uh, in, new and used. And obviously for me, I haven't taken any, so they're all new. When you're building the test, you can either select all the categories or you can build a test specific to individual categories. If you're studying for the USMLE um, in sections, maybe you want to just uh, study embryology first and take those questions. So very helpful as far as breaking down the test into individual sections so that you can uh, test based on what you're studying. And we'll go ahead and select Start the Test. So this is the basic layout of the test. It has the question and then all the answers. On the left here, I have an answer sheet to show me uh, which questions I have left, which ones I might have, which questions I still might have unanswered. I can hide that if I want. I don't think it's uh, needed all the time. Um, one thing that's important when you're going through uh, the USMLE, some, question, some questions might have lab values associated with it, and you can look up normals 
And so USMLE has the attachments, which are kind of inconvenient um, and show as an image here. And some people might not know how to work that. So uh, what you have to do is click show the image, kind of stretch it out, and kind of hunt for the reference ranges. And what's interesting is I'm taking the step one, and they're showing me step two CK lab values. Obviously, lab values aren't going to change, but um, it might be a little more appropriate just to show just to show step one up here instead of step two. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and come back to the question. So when you're going through the test, and I, I highly recommend this, after you read your question, immediately go through, if you don't know the answer right away, immediately go through and start crossing off the ones that you don't know. And USMLE Weapon does a good job of, at allowing you to uh, select this little X here so you can cross them off. And it's a little finicky sometimes as far as trying to, to get that little red X to stay there. Um, but you can cross it off. And maybe I'd like to see maybe a little green check mark if you want to bring it back instead of another red X. But if you, if you think the answer is not that, you cross it off and you forget about it. And then you go through the rest of them. So we can come down here. And we have the explanations telling us the correct answer is D, which I selected. Creatinine clearance is an approximation, uh, approximate measure of GFR. And it gives you a little bit more information. What's important is, is that it goes through the other questions and why they are not right. Each question that you study will help you learn more than just that one thing that the question is based on because it's going into the other um, the other answers and why they're not right. So it helps you um, in more ways than just one there. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this, and let's go on to the next question. So let's go ahead, and I want to mark this, and I'm going to show you how to mark. I want to mark that. I'm really not quite sure what it is, and I'm going to write a note here. Uh, USMLE Weapon lets you write notes on each question. So I can go ahead and come in here and say, I need to review vitamin D levels. And I can go ahead and close that and move on to my next question. So moving on to the next question, you can see that question two was marked flagged and that I have a note associated with it and it hovering over I can see that I can see my note if I go on and um, get to the end and I want to come back to question two I can come in here because I have the question marked I can come in here and filter the question and then select it here Another great thing about the explanations is that it goes into this step one insight and, and gives you a little bit more uh, insight into the thinking behind step one and how you can better prepare yourself. So a lot of times they'll, they'll call it high yield, um, some of the questions and, and studying the subjects of those questions are high yields because USMLE tends to focus on them. Here's another test explanation uh, which goes into what I was just talking about with uh, high yield. So this question was about vitamin D excess. This is the question I marked earlier uh, showing you how to take a note. But when you come down um, to the explanations it'll tell you understanding cal calcium metabolism is extremely high yield uh, for step one, which I agree with. Or, uh, even to this day, when, when I'm reading lab results for patients, it's, it's still um, uh, a big puzzle putting together um, calcium levels and vitamin D levels and, and so on and so forth and trying to come up with diagnoses. So when you're going through, you, you definitely... 
need to read the, the explanations of the answers, read the step one insights, and make note of it and go back and study that a little bit more in depth if you're still struggling with those topics. So after you take the test, it'll go ahead and, and give you a breakdown um, based on each subject that was tested. So obviously if you selected a test that was only one specific subject, there would only be one subject here. But because I selected all of them, it's going to go through all of them and tell me I got 100% 100, 100 on all the questions. So if you hover over a line, it'll give you a breakdown how many questions. So it says Q1 up there. It says C1 and I0. So total questions, total correct, and total incorrect. One thing I, I really like to see is what my gut is telling me. So USMLE Weapon does a really good job of telling you what your gut is telling you. And this is located under the My Decision title here. Correct to incorrect, incorrect to correct, and incorrect to inter incorrect. Say that five times fast. So what this is showing you is how many questions did you answer correctly and then change your mind and select incorrectly and answer incorrectly. So I didn't do z I didn't mark any incorrect that were originally marked correct. Ones that I initially marked incorrect but changed to correct were two. Um, and then in incorrect to incorrect were zero. Let's go ahead and select question breakdown here, and you can see uh, a better review of uh, what you got right. Uh, time spent, obviously, we did tutor mode, so it's not going to register any time. Peer score. Um, based on the question, and then my answer changes. So I'm going to come back here. Now we're back on the My Test page. I have my little green check mark because the test is complete, the date I took it, how many questions, my score, what my the peer score was, and then I can remove it, review it, or, or review the results again. So I'm going to come back over to my performance tab. And it's going to create a graph here. My test is up here. It's kind of hidden. It gives you the pass line and shows you where you're at. And, and basically the same information that you saw under the uh, my test page. You can select subject analysis here. You can see how you're doing compared to your peers based on all the different subjects. And then, again, like I said, decision analysis. So coming back to the USMLE Weapon homepage, it gives you a good overview of your tests that you've taken recently and your performance on those tests. So overall, here's what I think of USMLE Weapon. It, it has a lot of pros. There are currently 1,700 plus questions and growing. The price is competitive compared to the other players in the market, that's really a, a non-factor, I think. I I did appreciate their explanations. They, as I said before, they, they go in-depth in explaining why the wrong answers are wrong and why the right answer is right. So uh, a lot of good uh, positives here. Let's talk about a little bit of the negatives. Uh, only about 2% of the total questions, I think... Out of 1,700 questions, there were roughly uh, 35 or 40 that were marked easy or hard. And I have this line marked off in red because at some point when I was testing the software, they got rid of the option to select easy, moderate, or hard questions. As, as new software, uh, every software has bugs, and the web-based version of the USMLE weapon had its its share. Not a lot. There was just some, some formatting issues that I saw with some buttons running off the screen or they had an image of an EKG that was off the screen. 
but overall, uh, not terribly buggy. I uh, wouldn't expect super, uh, super bugs being around since the company itself has been around for several, ye- several years, and so I'm uh, assuming they're just reusing their technology from other question banks. One thing that I, I did notice was their loading time or their speed between questions, and it, it is a little slow. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if they can improve that. I'm, I'm sure they can. The normal lab values as one giant image um, throws me back. It's it's awkward. Uh, I can't search for a lab that I'm looking for. And when I have a limited amount of time and every second counts, I need to be able to quickly open up the the normal lab values and quickly find what I need. And so... That's something I hope they they take a look at and improve greatly upon what they have now. The uh, next one I have listed here, no highlighting of the questions. Initially, I didn't think about it because I don't like to highlight the questions when I'm going through it, but I I know it's something that a lot of people like to do and uh, some of the other question banks offer it. One of their, I, I don't know if it's one of their bigger selling points, but uh, I'm I'm surprised, being an early player in the game, that they already have iPhone and Android apps. I I think, uh, based on the looks of it, that the Android and iPhone apps uh, might be a little bit on the back burner, because you can hardly find them, uh, especially the iPhone. That's that's what I have. The, you can't find the app in the, the App Store. It's listed under USMLE one, so. I think they've buried it for now. I don't know why they don't just take it out of the App Store until they fix it. I was able to use it for a little while, um, and then it got to some point where it crashed uh, somewhat consistently, but I was able to move on after that. It, when it worked, it was a good app. I think it was a, a good app to have in your pocket and, and take out when you wanted to answer some questions. It had most of the features that the web-based version of their software has, so... So overall, so they are still relatively new. Obviously, with the test cycle coming through, there's going to be a lot of hesitation to try a product from a relatively new company, even though they're not new, but this product is new. Um, so they're, they're new, and it, it shows with some bugs around and some typos here and there. Um, but I think overall they have a great solid foundation uh, with plenty of room to grow. Uh, I think with their background in question banks and having uh, other products out there, I think they can uh, be a player in the game from here on out. Uh, I think it's, it's a solid addition to what's out there right now. So I hope you... Uh, uh, got a couple things out of this. I hope you understand what USMLE weapon is a little bit more. I, I hope you go out and try it. I think it's worthwhile to try if you, if you have plenty of time to study and would like to, to use a new uh, question bank. So that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment um, or uh, drop us a line at uh, medicalschoolhq.net. Thanks for watching.